I know a lot of people in that building who predated Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziggler, the current GM. A lot of unhappy people with the way this was handled, including a lot of players on the team who have a lot of loyalty to Derek Carr. We have a new update on the status of Raiders quarterback Derek Carr in 2023. And we also know that David Carr plans to send an interesting message on Monday. More about that in a bit. But Derek Carr has told sources close to him, according to Ian Rappaport, that he has no plans to retire and he is going to play in 2023. This is very interesting because we thought, hey, it's possible this guy retires. He said before, I'm going to be a Raider for life. If I had to play somewhere else, I would just retire. I would just hang it up. He has said that multiple times. He even said it this year, but the Devontae Adams trade probably made Derek feel like he's going to be a Raider for a long time. But this has all changed. As Joshua Daniels has decided to bench Derek Carr the final two games of the season, the relationship is broken and the Raiders are going to likely release Derek Carr after the Super Bowl unless they can get a trade but we know for a fact that Derek Carr wants to play in 2023 and one of the more interesting things he said is he believes he has his best football ahead of him and that's what I also believe too I believe he has his best football ahead of him I believe he is still going to be able to really produce for a team at a very high level this season has clearly been an outlier due to Josh McDaniels and people forget prior to this season he was voted the 64th best player in the NFL in the NFL top 100 so this guy is going to make a splash wherever he goes. And Ian Rappaport is also saying the Raiders are going to try to trade Derek Carr. I don't think it could happen. I think it's too risky for the Raiders because if a team backs out of the trade by March, then boom, the Raiders are on the hook for his entire contract. And you have people like Mike Florio at Pro Football Talk saying that the Raiders are likely going to have to release Carr because he's not going to want to do them any favors. Why would he want his new team to give up a draft pick for him? Why would he want to do that? Then his new team is going to have less resources to build the Super Bowl roster around him. So if I was Derek Carr, I would use my no trade clause to say, hey, you got to cut me. And like Florio was saying, cut me or pay me. That is really the only options the Raiders have with Derek Carr right now because he's not happy. And that is why he's going to play for a new team in 2023. He's going to want to stick it to the Raiders. And I think he's going to exercise his right. And he has every right to do so because they really did do him dirty. And you have other players, I mean, in, in, in the Raiders locker room, in the Raiders organization, who are not happy with how Derek Carr has been treated. These have been players who have been there before Josh McDaniels, before Dave Ziegler, and also Devontae Adams. He did not look too happy in that presser recently when talking about this situation with Derek Carr. The question really now is not if Derek Carr is going to go somewhere. We know he's going to play somewhere else in 2023. The question is, is who's going to come with him? Are other players on this team going to go with Derek Carr? Is Devontae Adams maybe going to try to get out of Vegas or is he stuck there? That's going to be an interesting question that's going to need to be answered in these next few months. McDaniels and Dave Ziegler may have made a horrible decision as players seem to be upset and we know Derek Carr is going to be upset if you would not have ticked the guy off I'm sure he would have been down to be traded maybe if you would have traded him last offseason instead of going forward with this season even though you didn't really want the guy anyway and you set him up for failure and we know Carr's pissed because David Carr is speaking out and he's laying out a date here saying Monday this Monday tomorrow 4 p.m pacific time he is going to really speak some truth about the Derek Carr situation and look at what he's retweeting here which is some interesting study done by Warren Sharp on Josh McDaniels and sort of the way that Josh McDaniels has set Derek Carr up for failure. The Raiders have given up unprecedented leads this season. No franchise in the history of the NFL has given up this many double digit leads. And we have also found out that in the second half, Derek Carr looks dramatically different. And Warren Sharp believes this is due to play calling. On early downs, the first down, the second down, in the second half of the game, Derek Carr has one of the worst efficiency rates out of 399 QBs dating back to 2005. And we've never seen Derek Carr look this bad, particularly in the second half. In the first half, he's balling out and looks great. But in the second half, especially on first and second down, Warren Sharp believes there is horrible, almost self-sabotaging play calls that put the offense in a hard situation to score points, and it makes it easy for the other team to come back. And Derek Carr is having his worst season since he was a rookie in 2014, and the primary difference is Josh McDaniels. And I believe, because David Carr retweeted this study, I believe that is what he's going to talk about. I believe he is going to expose Josh McDaniels this Monday on NFL Network. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. We will keep you up to date on everything David Carr says this Monday. But clearly Derek Carr is not happy. He obviously is not going to want to help the Raiders get a draft pick. And it's great to see that he's going to go ahead and play in 2023 and see if he can make a splash somewhere else because he is too talented to just waste it because a franchise did him dirty. This guy needs to go out there and play some good football. It's what he deserves. We'll be keeping you up to date on everything happening with the Las Vegas Raiders. 
Raiders and the fallout of this Derek Carr situation. Like this video if you have not yet and subscribe to this channel for more Raiders content. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out. I hope you have a good one.